40 عاما من التألق والعطاء. بدأت مدرسة البيان منذ 40 عاما كثمرة لرؤية مؤسسة المدرسة أستاذة فوزية حمد السلطان العيسى طيب الله ثراها. كانت الرؤية تجهيز الطلاب لعالم اليوم وتحديات الغد. I'm the daughter of the founder, Fouzia Hamid Sultan, and she founded the school with 14 other women, uh, Al Bayan Bilingual School. It started out as something very simple. I was very young at the time, but what I do remember is that there were tea parties, and they all gathered around and talked about what was important to them. في الستة وسبعين لنا هنا في هالبناية كان كلها جمرات وقالنا قام صلاح السلطان عطانا الأرض هذه اللي ورانا هنا بنيناها وانتقلنا من الجمرات إلى هناك As the son of uh, one of the founders of Al Bayan, it was uh, a lovely experience to have uh, developed with with the school. المدرسة كانت أهلية فأهلنا هم اللي أسسوها يعني أنا والدي كان من الأعضاء المؤسسين لهذه المدرسة فكان في يعني اهتمام حقيقي في أدق تفاصيل المدرسة كانت الصفوف صغيرة طبعا أصغر من ما هي الحين فيعني كنا مجتمع متلاحم داخل المدرسة من قبل عشرين سنة عملنا مسرحية اسمها وتبقى البيان من ضمن الكلام اللي كتبناه عن فوزية الله يرحمها إنه بتقول نريد شخصية قوية عربية إسلامية وطنية كويتية تزرع أملا تبني وطنا والعز وهوية اسمي رنا نيباري كنا من أول دفعات اللي دخلوا مدرسة البيان وللأسف ما تخرجنا عشان الغزو ولكن مدرسة البيان تعني لي وايد أمور كانت أكثر من مدرسة كان المكان اللي اكتشفت فيه يعني الأشياء اللي أنا أحبها In this environment we learned to, to do a lot of activities to learn about ourselves It was a place where we explored our, uh, our being um, and it taught us how to be uh, uh, independent and how to be uh, Different. The main vision of the school and the main vision of El Bayan is this bicultural, dual language um, educational system. So Arabic and English is one of the most important things for the foundation of this school. In my experience, BBS is a unique community. And altogether, our school has a very strong community spirit. Of course, the other thing that makes BBS particularly unique and special in Kuwait is it's the, the first school that introduced a bilingual program and is really sort of the pioneer in this, uh, in this area for both uh, Kuwait and the region. I was under the impression people sent their children here for the English, and then they told, no, we're Arabs, we want to you know, put our children here where they'll get the Arab tradition and the beauty of the Arabic language with a strong English component. I learned a lot of Bayan. I remember when I went to high school in the U.S., and it was a very competitive high school. I blew everyone away. They couldn't believe, you know, I had come from Kuwait and attended a school in Kuwait. And even after high school in the U.S., when I went to college, again, you know, I think I busted a lot of curves and, and a lot of that was thanks to Bayan, thanks to the education that I earned at Bayan. As a school and as a, an, another home, one thing that Bayan worked excellently uh, to develop in me was basically two parts. For one part is character building making sure that everything that I was being taught from my parents at home was resonating to me in the school. 
And at the same time, it's a matter of expanding your horizon in terms of making sure that uh, your brain is functioning properly, you're actually learning, exposing you to a lot of the different variables that I was going to get exposed to in my professional and my uh, academic uh, life. The teachers here and everybody who works for the benefit of the student need to be future-minded. They need to understand what are we preparing these kids for. And that's what makes BBS exciting because it enhances change. Not change for the sake of change, but change so that the kids are better prepared for the future. I think that we've also evolved not just in size, but in, in structure. I think we've also evolved in our commitment, not only to the bilingual education, but to character development and community efforts. And I think this is a very positive part of, of uh, the whole program at BBS. Contributor to the world, and they'll make the world a better place to live in. The campus and the expansion and the growth of education is also very important to our community as well. So it's an ever-changing uh, school. It wasn't just stagnant in one place and one time. Uh, the school grew with its students. When you compare it with other schools, you start to notice what brings it out. Uh, community, friendship, uh, teachers that cared. You know, that is kind of what I remember. And maybe at that time, I didn't sense it, but after graduating, after working, you really realize that those were the building blocks to create the, 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 what we have today. Brought by on together, I think, were, were the people. It was the teachers, the administrators, and definitely the kids. I, I made a lot of really good friends who are still my friends today. كلنا مرينا وكلنا سافرنا وكلنا رجعنا وقعنا نشتغل ونلقى ان في رابط بيننا طلبة البيان مجتمع البيان الى الان موجود to this day you know i, I keep in touch with, with all, all my classmates um, all the people that attended bayan it felt like uh, we were family it didn't feel like uh, there were classes and uh, students I mean, all those kids I taught for over 30 years, every single one of them, you know, has really touched my life. I've been to their weddings, I've been to their stuck balls. This classroom right here is very important to me, right? Now it's my daughter's classroom, Tala, but I remember having physics and chemistry here. It was the time when I had to take my daughter to school. I didn't think about the other school outside of the school. والجميل في هالشيء ان بنتي واللي معاها بالصف وايد من الناس اللي كانوا يعني اهلهم كانوا معي بالصف فابناء زملائي هم زملاء بنتي مدرسين درسوني واليوم قاعد يدرسون عيالي um, I don't think this happens very much and it's very touching to have this experience أكثرية الطلاب اللي موجودين عندي الان انا مدرس اخوتهم خواتهم لدرجه الان انا وصلت انه بعد سنتين حادرس to me, uh, each memory leads to the other. When I think of a teacher, I think of a classroom. When I think of a classroom, I think of a student. When I think of a student, I think of a friend. When I think of a friend, I think about their family. We used to have preparations for national day shows with Muslims and Miss Layla, and it was singing and dancing, like Arabic songs. And to this day, it is the best memories that I have of the school. I would describe Al Bayan as a family. In one word, I just say memories.